facts. All right. So I have it mixed up in here. I have some addition and some subtraction in here as well. Okay. All right, let's get started. Seven plus six. Seven plus six equals thirteen. Six plus five equals eleven. Three plus four equals seven. Two plus seven equals nine. Six minus zero equals six. No, it wasn't. That's the twin. Seven plus eight equals 15, 15, 15. 10 minus zero equals 10, 10, 10. Four minus one equals Seven minus zero equals Ten minus one equals nine, nine, nine. Five plus four equals nine, nine, nine. Five, I don't think it's funny. Five minus one equals four, four, four. Two minus one equals three. Three, three. Oops, sorry, these are backwards. Six plus seven equals 13, 13, 13. Five plus six equals eleven, eleven, eleven. Five plus two equals seven, seven, seven. Ten plus two equals twelve, twelve, twelve. Uh, two plus ten equals twelve. So the same thing. One plus one equals two, two, two. Four plus four equals eight, eight, eight. Two plus three equals five, five, five. Six minus one equals five, five, five. Nine minus zero equals nine, nine, nine. Seven plus two equals nine, nine, nine. Eight minus zero equals eight, eight, eight. Three minus zero equals three, three, three. Eight minus one equals.
equals seven, seven, seven. Nine plus eight equals 17, 17, 17. And two plus five equals seven. Awesome, a lot of facts, a lot of facts. All right, can you get a loose leaf paper out? Problems. I know you've been doing that in your book as of late, but we're going to do it some more. Okay, so I'll give you, can you give me a some, some more story problem? A some, some more story problem. Okay, I'll give you a minute to work on that. Some, some more. Okay. Why the paper? Yeah, that. Wait, when this? Oh, I had two papers. But you were supposed to get your tablet. I don't got it. I don't have. I don't have it. Okay, some, some more. Oh, I know. Where?
All right, let's share some of our story problems, some, some more. Okay, go ahead and write what you have. Now I have two. You have one what though? I didn't hear. I have one school because I used to go to the daycare. Oh, I went to one school and now I'm at a new school. So I've been to two schools. Good. One plus one is two. Okay, anybody else? Okay, Joshua, have to unmute. If I had had one car and my mom gave me two more cars, I would have three. Good, one plus two is three, good. Okay, anybody else? Oh, we're still kind of working. Hey, you no longer have nobody, I'm gonna take it. Put it right here. Okay, Avaya. Uh, unmute. <laughs> I have two balls. I had one more. How many I do I have? Okay, good. I had two balls and I have one more. Good. Two plus one is three. Good. Okay, Kenley? My son had 10 notebooks and 10 more. 10 plus 10 equals 20. Good. She had 10 and then 10 more. 10 plus 10 is 20. Okay, and Taylor? And home because we played home. That gave is me, um, two toys, and Tom gave me two, and Mom gave me. So that equals four. Okay, you had Tom gave you two toys, and you got two more. That's four toys. Okay, good. All right, so let's do a sum. Sum went away. Some, some went away. I didn't see your hand. Some, some went away. I some, some went away. I sent a no longer nobody book. Huh? I mean, where's your book? Bring the book, okay? Are you making a book today?
right, let's share some of our some some went away. Okay, go ahead, Faith. Okay, I had one toy and someone took one away. One minus one is zero. No toys left. Okay, Kenley. When John ten no plus nine to ten. Ten minus ten equals zero. Okay, he had ten toys and they took ten of his toys, so he has zero. Mariah. And my sister took what now I have one. Good. Two minus one is one. Dennis. I have five balls, and I gave four to my brother. Wait, say it. Say it again. I have five balls, and I gave four to my brother. Okay, you have five and gave four. Okay, good. And so now you have one. Awesome. All right, good. Okay, and Joshua. It, if I if I had three toys and if I gave three to my brother, I would have three zero. Okay, awesome, good. Okay, go ahead. Is take away losing. Okay. Um, okay, good. All right, let's get started looking at the board. Do my sentence. Doing some things on the board. Right. Mm -hmm. I have one. Okay. Um, okay, that's cool. But I had just did some who did some some more and some who did some some went away, but I'm happy you wrote it. So good. All right, so let's go ahead and work on some board work. Uh, probably for writing, so yeah, just keep it up. All right, so I have some number uh, some numbers here. Let's count it. So remember when we're counting by twos with odd numbers, our pattern is one, three, five, seven, nine. That pattern continues. So I have 11, 13, 15, 17. Where am I going after 17? 19, and now I'm in the 20s, so I start the pattern all over again. So I'm 20, 21, 23, 25, Dennis, 25, 20, 27, and the last one is, is our last one. Thirty. Ah, uh, not thirty. Look at the pattern. One, three, five, seven, nine, six, twenty-one. Thirty-nine. Twenty-nine. 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 All right. So let's start with one, and let's count all the way to twenty-nine. So one, three, five, seven, nine. Eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-five, twenty-seven, twenty-nine. So that's counting with by twos with your odd numbers. What does an odd number mean? I don't think I remember that. Can I anybody know, refresh my mind? What does it mean to count with odd numbers? What are odd numbers? What are they? It's numbers that like. Think about it. What are I know odd it. numbers? <laughs> okay, let's see. It's not the same number. No, not that it's not the same. It's something I can't do with odd numbers. Uh, oh, um, I know. Mm -mm. It's kind of we'll start with zero. No, zero is not an odd number. So y'all don't remember what odd numbers are? Yes. And y'all are on your way to second grade? I didn't be, I don't remember. Let's Wait, see, anybody? Okay, so remember, we have odd and we have even numbers. 
So what are odd numbers versus the oh, even that. numbers? Maybe that'll refresh you because I know you know it. I hope so. Okay, let's see what. Mm -hmm. Odd numbers is something that the, when you're counting even numbers, you can't count where the odd numbers. I mean, you can't no. Okay, so let me oh. refresh you guys. So remember, even numbers are 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. We can split even numbers equally. We can split it in half equally. Odd numbers, we cannot split equally. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Maybe it's because we didn't talk about it in a little while. So that's why I'm going to say maybe we didn't remember, okay? But even numbers, we can split equally down the middle. Odd numbers, we cannot split equally down the middle. That's why they're called odd numbers. Even numbers, we can split in half. If I have two, I can split it down the middle, one and one. Odd numbers, if I have three, I cannot split it down the middle. I'll have two and then one. It's not possible, okay? So I'm going to ask this question again tomorrow. And I think you guys are going to be able to tell me then, right? Yeah. What are even and what are odd numbers? Maybe it's because we kind of didn't talk about it for a while. I'm going to say maybe we forgot. No. But. You're going to second grade. Are y'all? You're going to second grade? Are y'all staying in first yeah. grade again? Y'all going to go to second, second grade? grade? Second okay. Grade. Remember, everything that we learn is preparing you for the next grade. So don't forget it, okay? Don't forget it. All right. So these are our odd numbers. So now let's go ahead and practice counting by 100s. 100s. So I have 300, 400. Where am I going after four? Five hundred. After five hundred, Dennis. Six hundred. Six hundred. That's my last time. If I tell you again, you're standing for recess. Six hundred. After six hundred. Seven hundred. Seven hundred. Seven hundred. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. I know. I know. After eight hundred. Nine hundred. Nine hundred. I know this one. Let's see the last one. A thousand. A thousand. Yay, I knew it. Remember, one thousand. Okay, so let's count by hundreds to a thousand. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred, a thousand. Remember, we talked about the 100 number chart, and all of the numbers down are 10 away. So if I have 38, 10 more will be 48. If I have 76, 10 more would be 86. Now, if I was to put it as 43 plus 10, it's the same thing, except it's just written in a different way. If I'm asking for 10 more, and then I put plus 10, that's the same thing. 10 more is plus 10. So if I would say what's 10 more than 19, you would say 29. If I would say what's 15 plus 10, you would say 25. So it's the same thing. So sometimes in your book, it will be written as a fact. And sometimes in your book, it'll just ask you for 10 more. But don't get confused. It's the same exact thing. It's no, no, no difference, except it's just written in an addition fact form. Or it's just going to ask you, like, as a problem form, like, give me 10 more. So let's go ahead and give 10 more of these numbers. Let me put the chart up just so no. All right, so I have 43 plus 10. What I'm asking is what's 10 more than 43? 53. 53. Next, I have 71 plus 10. What's 10 more? Then 71 or 71 plus 10. Um, 81. 81. Next, I have 19 plus 10. What's 10 more than 19, Dennis? Oh, no. Is he? 19. Look at the chart if you need help. Look at the chart. 29. 29. Remember, guys, it's just like we're counting by tens with those numbers. We learned the rest. Okay, next I have 25 plus 10, or 10 more than 25. Oh. Mm -mm. Oh. 35. 35. Next I have 64 plus 10. Josh, 
Joshua are 10 more than 64. Yeah, I think I said 64. But yeah, 64 plus 10. Can I use the bathroom? Oh, yeah, that's fine. But I was asking a quick math question. 64 plus 10. 64 plus 10. Seven. Oh. Ten more. Said the answer. That was an accident. Come on, ten more. That's sixty-four. It's like you're counting by tens before. Oh, I got it. Um, seventy-four. Seventy-four, and then fifty-eight plus ten. Ten more. Fifty-eight plus ten. Fifty-eight plus ten equals sixty-eight. Good. So that's ten more. So today, what we're going to do is learn about 10 less. Now, it's the same thing. But when we do more, we're getting bigger with our numbers. We go down. But when we say 10 less, guess where we move? Up. Uh, uh, we're going backwards. So we're going back 10. When we say add, that's 10 more. The numbers get bigger. But when we say 10 less, we're going up. And it's 10 less than a number, OK? So. Okay, so let's look at the ones I have here. So I have 19 minus 10. So what I'm saying is I want 10 less than 19. So that means I need to go up. 10 less than 19 would be 9. So it's the same exact thing, guys, except now you're going backwards. So that's the that's the most important thing is paying attention to whether you're moving forward 10 more or going back 10 less. Next, I have 47 minus 10. So 47 minus 10, I'm going back 10. So that would be 37. It's a pattern. Yeah. 84 minus 10, I'm going back 10. 84 less, 10 less than 84? 74. 74. 93, 93 minus 10, 10 less than 93 would be? 83. 83. 32 minus 10, 10 less than 32. Dennis, 10 less than 32. Going back 10. 22. 22. And then last one, we have 68 minus 10. What's 10 less than 68? 10 less than 68? 58. 58. Awesome. So now you will have both 10 more and 10 less. But don't forget, you keep the 10. It's just you have to pay attention to whether I'm going back 10 or forward 10. Okay? So you will start to see that in your book, 10 less now. But it's the same thing, except now you go back 10, okay? You go back 10. And just remember, guys, whenever we're doing the 10, you will always have the same back number. Like, look, 47 minus 10, 37. 84 minus 10, 74. It always will have the same back number because it's like you're counting by 10s with that number, okay? So don't forget that. All right, so that is it for math. That's a couple of things I wanted to go over. Let's move on to writing. You'll need a loose leaf paper so that we can practice our sentences on today. All right, so this week in writing, we are going to practice writing sentences with pronouns. So we've learned pronouns already. 
I'm going to refresh you on what pronouns are in case you forgot, but we have learned pronouns already. So remember, a pronoun is a word used in the place of a noun. Pronouns are used in the place of noun. Okay. Oops, sorry. Got to fix that real quick. I did it wrong. Yes, yeah. sorry. So a pronoun is a word that is used in the place of a noun. So remember, we'll have the noun, like say mom or dad, sister, and we'll usually take out that noun to put in certain pronouns. So remember, whenever you say your name, we don't call ourselves our name, right? We talked about that. We'll usually say pronouns, I, me, my, mine, instead of saying our name. Whenever we're talking about other people, when we have like Tom, Sarah, Lisa, instead of saying their names, we would say he, she, him, her, his, hers. And then we talked about us and someone together. If me and my mom, instead of saying me and my mom, I would say we, or I would say that is for me and my sister. I would say that is for us. Or that I would say that is our or ours, okay? Whenever we're talking about a group of people, if I would say, instead of saying Peter, James, and John, I would say they or them or their or theirs. And then we talked about things. Instead of saying the cat or the dog or the horse, we would say it, okay? Pronouns, so that's a review of pronouns. Does it refresh you, kind of remember? Pronouns somewhat a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. If it, if it refresh you, if not, we're going to practice this week and it'll, it'll get, you know, it'll come back, but we've covered pronouns before. Remember pronouns take the place of nouns. And that's what we'll be doing on this week. We're practicing sentences, we're taking out the noun to put in a pronoun. So let me show you an example. Number one, could you write number one down for me? Don't do anything to it. I just want you to write number one down. Yes, and underline Joseph when you write it. Joseph loved God. Go ahead and write number one.
Do we write Joseph loved God? Mm -hmm. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to write it over, but this time we're going to take out Joseph, our pronoun, then change it into a noun. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry, take Joseph's noun, turn it into a pronoun. So Joseph loved God. What pronoun can I put instead of Joseph? Instead of saying Joseph loves God, remember we're taking out the noun. Joseph loved God. What's the pronoun I can put? Mm -hmm. He loved God. So we'll X out Joseph and then write it over with he loved God. This is what we'll be doing this week. Taking out the noun to put in the pronoun. So we took out the noun Joseph and put the pronoun he loved God. So on your test this week, this is what you'll have to do. I will have a sentence that will have the noun underlined. You will have to write it over with the correct pronoun. So that's important to know your pronouns. That's what we're practicing. That's what we're practicing. Miss Bluegis, I can't uh, see the sentence. Or I'll say world. <laughs> Hold word again, again. I guess so. Oh. And copy. There's nothing to cheat on. Really, at all. This is not even the test. Okay, what? You would Let's go ahead and write number two. So it says Abraham and Sarah left Ur. So write number two, oh. underline Abraham and Sarah. Yeah, that's where they're from. Oh, 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 Bible. Abraham and Sarah left Ur. Mm -hmm. You did your sentence? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so now let's go ahead and write this over, but let's replace our noun with the pronoun. So Abraham and Sarah left Ur. So Abraham and Sarah are two people. You are not Abraham, you're not Sarah. So be careful which one, which um, pronoun you use. So what could I say instead of saying Abraham and Sarah? Let's take out the nouns, their name, Abraham and Sarah. Let's replace it with the pronoun. What could I say? 
Them. Well, not them close, not them left her. Similar to them. Oh, the they, they, they left her. So I'll take out Abraham and Sarah and replace it with they, the pronoun they left her. Okay, so that's what we'll be doing this week, taking out the nouns, replacing it with the pronoun. They left her. And it's a shot of Simpson. Yeah, that, but that's why it's good to use the pronoun because it makes it shorter instead of naming all of the people. Yeah, you just say they, and they that's covers everybody. Dad, brother, cousin. Yeah. Right? The sentence, you did not, you did not. Okay, so we have they left her. Yeah, okay, awesome. So like I said, that's what we'll be focusing on this week in writing, replacing the, pro the noun and, and turning it into a pronoun with our sentences this week, okay? Let's go ahead and move on to phonics and we have language and reading and we'll be done for the day. Miss Gugis, uh huh. What um, science and social studies on Tuesdays? We do that on Tuesdays. All right, um, ten and eleven. All right, let's start chart ten. Thank you, mm -hmm. it should be I think it's blue. Yeah, this one. All right, let's go over finding chart 10. WH. WH says what, 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 and well. WH says and who. TCH says ch, ch, ch. And patch E A R says ear, 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 and ear. E A R says air, 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 and bear. E A R says er, 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 and earth. O L D says old, 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 and gold. M B says mm, 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 and lamb. E W says ooh, 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 and flu. E W says you, 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 and few. Y says E, 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 and rainy. E R says er, 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 and bigger. E S T says S, 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 and biggest. L Y says Lee, 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 and slowly. E N says N, 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 and sharpen. E S says S, 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 and peaches. L Y says Lee, 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 and slowly. E N says N, 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 and sharpen. E S says S S S N. Oh, I have T says I I I and child. I N D says I I I and kind. Good. All right, chart ten. Let's go over chart eleven. Let's try it together today. We've been practicing about a week or two now. So let's see how many you know with me. Okay. All right. Let's go through it together. Okay, O, O says uh, 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 and shovel. A says uh, 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 and banana. C says and city. A, U says 
ah, 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 and faucet. A W says ah, 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 and saw. E A says e, 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 and leave. E A says e, 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 and thread. E A says a, 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 and stay. I E says e, 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 and brownie. E Y says e, 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 and key. E Y says a, 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 and obey. E H says and phone. C H says in chorus, O U G H T says ot 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 in thought. A U G H T says ot 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 in caught. G says j j j in giant. D G E says j j j in fudge. All right, so here we go. Phonics chart eleven. Okay, so today we're gonna move on to our next two sounds on chart eleven, which are P H that says and C H that says. Okay, so we do have a C H we've learned already, which is C H that says, but this C H is a little different. Um, and so for the time being, we'll probably be using uh, the CH that says. All right. All right, so we have pH here. pH says, so we have pH, long A, silent E. What's my word? We've practiced this word already too. Phrase, like a phrase, it's not a sentence. Phrase. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it says. Next, we have CH that says OR or. What could be the word? Chad Dennis. Chord. Chord. This is like dealing with the music like a chord. I don't mm -hmm. know. This one doesn't do music, but I know that's a part. Mm -hmm. GR says brr. PH says. What would my word be here? Griff. Ah. Graph. Next one we have C H. Uh, C H. O O O. C H O O U school. school like we are at school right now. Okay. Next one I have P H. Oh, now this one you should know. Yes. That we're doing right now. Phonics. Phonics. And last one C H long O silent E. Per. You got to just the chrome. chrome. Good. So that special sound PH that says, like it makes the F sound, and CH that says, all right. All right, let's make some words here with some sounds. So I have TH that says, like in this. What's another word I can create with TH? Think. Think. Okay, what about THR that says thur, like in three? Thrill. Thrill. Next, I have FR, fur, like frog. Dennis, what you have? Fries. Fries. You said fries? Fries. Next, I have DR, drur, like in drum. Drive. Drive. Next, I have PR per like pray. Pray. Praise. I have CR cur like crab. 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 Crab.
Well, that's actually KR. That's uh, is actually KR. CR Kerr, like crab. Kerr. Okay. I know one. Crust. Crust. Like pizza crust. S C R scrr like in scream scrr scram scrr like in spray spur spring the season that's coming in a month spring T R trr like in Train, tr tree, 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 or tree, and br like in bride, br brr, brain. Oh, we all have a brain that we should use every day. All right, let's practice some ABC order. So you tell me, how do I put something in ABC order? What do I do? How do I know how to put some words in ABC order? And all of these run, jump, bake, sleep, kick. What are those? I don't, I don't. They're actions, so that means they're. You just. What are they? They are actions, and actions are what? I know. I know. Okay. So how do I put these in order? What am I going to pay attention to? The first. Only letter. the first letter, and we based it off the alphabet. So let's start with that first letter of the alphabet. A. Any A's? No. B. Yes. Yeah. Yep. So they would be first. Any C's? No. D. No. E. No. F no. G yes. yes. We do have a G? No. No. H. No. H. No. I. No. J. Yes. 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 Jump. Yes. K. No. Yes. Yep. Kick. L. No. M. No. N. No. No. O. Yes. 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 Oh, that's not O. P. No. Q. No. R. Yes. 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 Right. yes. And then our last one would be S. Yes. Awesome. 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 Yeah, I would, but I don't know how much she has left to complete. Can you sharpen my pencil? All right. So. Good. All right. So that's our phonics lesson. So we're going to go ahead and move on to our book, Balto. So that's our book we're reading this week. So it says The Bravest Dog Ever, The True Story of Balto. This is a true story. This actually really happened. The story of Balto. It's real life. That's a new yard. It's a real yard. I bet it's about a wolf. Balto. Yes, it is. You don't say Wait. New York. Yes, yeah, look. New York. You're not on the first page. It says New York. New York. Ray, Randall House, New York. City. City. And that's where it was published. So this is our story we're focusing on this week, Balto. And so this is a story about a brave dog. There was a problem that happened in Nome, Alaska. And here we'll see Balto step in and, you know, what he'll do. Okay, so let's open up first page. I want to read it. Yes. All right, come on, babe. All right, so this is our page here. This is a, right here. This is a true story about a very brave dog. His name was... Balto. The year was 1925. Balto lived in Nome, Alaska. Nome was a frontier. frontier town. Most of the year it was burned. Buried. Buried. Under ice and snow. Good. So we're introduced to Balto. And this, this, like I said, this is a real story. So this happened in 1925. And so Nome, Alaska, that's the name of the city. Nome, Alaska. Alaska is a state. Nome. That's where this took place in Nome, Alaska. So Nome, Alaska was an old town. It's full of ice. 
full of snow most of the time. Okay, so let's turn the page. In winter, there was one way, no, no. no way to travel through all that ice and snow, not on plants or planes, planes or trains. Our boats, our cars. The only way to travel in Alaska was by dog sleigh. Good. So in Nome, Alaska, it was covered under ice and snow most of the time. And because of that, people could not travel with planes or cars, any of that. So most of the time when they traveled, they traveled by dog sleds. So the dog would pull them on a sleigh to get them where they needed to go because you know it was very dangerous to try to drive or even fly because it was so much ice and snow. Okay, seven, Josh, you would like to read seven for us? Okay, and just unmute when you start. Bartow was a sled dog. He worked for a gold mining uh -huh. planer. Company. Company. Not far from name, he hosted carry food and total tools. Tools and to the market. Mar miners. The miners are the people who work in. Um, and it was a good life for a sled dog. Okay, so Balto was known as a sled dog. Good, Joshua. He was known for pulling the sled. Now, he wasn't the only one. It would be like a bunch of dogs at one time, but that was Balto's job. He would pull the sled. He worked for a company that had that um, that did dug for gold in some mines, right? And he would help carry the sled that would carry food to them. And it was a good life. Balto was a sled dog and he was made to be a sled dog like that was his breed, okay? Let's look at eight. Okay, Kinley. Driver was named Gunner. 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 Gunner made a bottle his lead dog. The lead dog, yeah, lead, lead, lead. Lead dog, dog walks in front of the team. He follows the trail. All the other dogs do whatever the lead dog does. So the lead dog has to be the smartest and strongest dog. Uh, uh, uh. Good. So Balto is a sled dog, but not only was he a sled dog, but on his sleigh um, that he was a part of, his his driver's name. Now the driver, this is the driver, the person who like steers the sled, you know, his name was Gunner. And Balto was not only a sled dog, but he was the lead dog. So basically Balto had to lead the way. If he turned, everyone had to turn. If he stopped, Everyone had to stop. And the, the lead dog was usually the smartest and the strongest dog. So that means Balto was the smartest and the strongest dog out of his, um, his team, his, uh, his team of dogs that pulled the trail, okay? So here we are. This is where we're stopping today. We're just introducing Balto, who he is, and what was his job? He was a sled dog that pulled the sleigh of, of all the other um, dogs. And so Nome, Alaska is where he's from. It's a city that's covered in a ton of ice, a ton of snow, and this is in the year 1925. So also at that time, things were a lot different. So um, this is where we'll stop. Okay, so tomorrow there's going to be a problem that occurs, and we'll get into the problem and what they'll try to do. All right, so good. So that's our story, Balto. So they do have a movie too. Yep, they do. We watched that in the same mm -hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and go over your spelling. We're on list 20 this week, page 40. Oh, I don't, wait, 20, page 40. 
We we will, Amina. We will. I don't got them. I don't have them. Yes. All right, so this week our spelling list deals with A that says A uh, and adopt from chart nine and A prefix A, which we're learning tomorrow from chart 12, tomorrow, Wednesday, one of those days. Anyway, uh, this is A and A. So all of the words, as you can see on your list, all start with the A that says A. Uh. So let's go through them. So first word is alone. Alone. A L O N E. Alone. Awake. Awake. A W A A K E. Awake. Asleep. Asleep. A S L E E P. Asleep. Around. A R O U N D around apart. A P A R T apart. Next row alike. Alike. A L I K E alike ago. A G O ago arose. A R O S E arose along alone A L O N G along aside aside A S I D E aside next row afraid afraid A F R A I D afraid amount amount A M O U T amount away away a w a y away again a g a i n again and says s a y s says okay let's look at your greek and latin so your greek words this week dendron D E N D R O N dendron and it means tree. Next, Kronos. Kronos. C H R O N O S. Kronos and it means time. You have three Latin words. Decim. D E C E M. Decim, and it means ten. Next one, centum. C E N T U M. Centum, and it means hundred. And then milli. M I L L E milli, and it means thousand. Good. So these are your Greek and Latin. Dendron means tree. Chronos means time. Deci means 10, centum, 100, and milli, 1,000, okay? Awesome. All right, guys, so that is everything that we needed to cover on today. So y'all complete all your workbook pages. Everything is, is posted in Google Classroom. I'll put your video up as well for you to go over if you need to go over your reading or anything, okay? All right, y'all have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.